Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts, uh, looking at gold trading around 1746 or so. You got to remember that gold is in an excellent spot uh, for a dramatic upward movement. Uh, what's happening in gold in the last few days is uh, as people are marking to market their stock positions, their equity positions worldwide, they're being forced to sell things that they have at a profit in order to answer their debts in other areas. And that's affected gold because gold is one of the few things that some people have on a positive basis. Gold coin and gold bar demand uh, were up 29% in the third quarter, according to the World Gold Council. What that means is that Despite the downdraft, people are continuing to pile into gold bars and gold coins. This is a wonderful sign for future price increases. Secondly, uh, the United States may, continues to muddle along in its own way. While the European recession seems to deepen due to the fact of uh, dependence upon uh, the relationship with China and Chinese demand is declining, so that's going to hurt the European situation economically even more. Uh, U.S. manufacturing and production continues to do well. Uh, in October, uh, U.S. manufacturing indices were up uh, half of a percent, led by, of all things, a 3% rise in a year-to-year -year basis in motor vehicle sales. And electronics were up eight-tenths of a percent. Overall, industrial production was up seven-tenths of a percent, with a lead provided by 2.3 percent increase in mining. We go back to speak just a second about stocks. You know, we're seeing no volume in New York, so that means there's no conviction in New York. That means that you've got to be really careful of taking exposed positions when the market is moving in such a, a chartless kind of direction. So part of our view is that gold will make its 1850 target for December 1st, and that we will see gold at 2000 by the first of $2,000 an ounce by the 1st of 2012. Uh, so we urge you to aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Keep in mind, you know, the Franco-German argument yesterday. You know, the Europeans still don't really seem to get what's going on. We see the euro trading around 120 by the spring, and uh, we hope that you're using this information to make your investments uh, uh, become more valuable. So aim for the ice flows, not the open water. That's how you're going to make profits. Have a great day. Keep swinging.